How to do trial improvement. This is a typical GCSE question. They tell you the solutions between one and two, You've got to give your answer to one decimal place, and they emphasize in bold type that you must show all your workings. Give this one a go, so pause now and I'll show you the answer and how to do it in a second. Right, this is how you need to lay it out. Set out three columns. First one's going to be your guess of what X is. Middle column's quite a big column, is the workings. And thirdly, a comment. So, kick off by splitting the difference. Go halfway between 1 and 2, so 1.5. Set out the substitution you're just about to do. Plug the numbers into your calculation, you get 18.375. Now, this is less than 25, so the comment should be too low. So we know the true solution is bigger than 1.5. So split the difference again, go somewhere halfway up again, somewhere halfway between 1.5 and 2, so let's say 1.7. So substitute that in, we get 21.9. That's still lower than 25, so the comment should be it's still too low. So go up again, either 1.8 or 1.9. I've tried 1.9. 1.9 cubed or 10 lots of 1.9 gives me 25.959. Well, that's just a fraction too high. Okay, that's higher than 25, so the comment should be too high. Now, just because that's really close to 25 doesn't mean at this point you can go and put 1.9 down as your answer. It probably is, but that will only give you two marks. You've really got to spell it out. So now go for 1.8. Okay, 1.8, plug that in, you get 23.832. Now that's too low, that's lower than 25. So really, these are our goal goalposts. 1.8 is too low. 1.9 is too high. Now, I know that you know that we can all see that that's going to be the answer. That's closer, but it, still, that will not be enough. You can't put 1.9 down. You've really got to emphasize the points. So do a final line where you split the difference. You have a go at 1.85. This is never going to be your final answer, but it just really emphasizes which of these two marked ones we're going to put down as our answer. So 1.85 cubed, uh, 10 lots of 1.85 gives us, gives us 24.3. That's too low, so our true solution is bigger than 1.85. So now we can safely say, right, if our true solution is bigger than 1.85, it must be 1.9, not 1.8. So now we can do the answer. Right, we've got two GCSE questions to follow now. Have a go at each of them, and then I will give you the solution. So here's the first one. Have a go. Here's the solution. Here's the next one. Have a go. And here's the solution to that one. 